Welcome to this demonstration on creating an Apple ID for iTunes on a computer. What we want to do first is to open up a browser and I've listed the three most commonly used here on the desktop, Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Explorer. But for this demonstration, we will be using Chrome. I'd like you to pay close attention to the top of the screen for a little tidbit in case you didn't know. If you want a new browser window open, just click on this little tab to the right. Notice that when that opens, there's also another one. So you can have multiple tabs opened, and this is very convenient for navigation purposes. All right, now let's get back to getting our Apple ID. We're going to place a search in here on how to set up an iTunes account. And when the results appear, you want to look for set up an Apple ID in iTunes Apple support. When you find that, go ahead and click on that link. Now, when you get to the screen, you want to look for create an Apple ID on a computer. Go ahead and click that link. And on the next page, under create an Apple ID on a computer, to the far right of the number one, you want to click on download it. Just click there to begin the download. You will then be brought over to iTunes. Pay close attention to the left hand side of the screen under download iTunes. Note that these two check checkboxes have been pre-selected. If you do not want these notifications, feel free to uncheck those boxes before proceeding to the box where you will fill in your email address. After you have filled in your email address, you will click on download now. Pay close attention to the bottom of your screen as you will see a notification that the download has begun. When you see this little box, note that there is an arrow on the right. Go ahead and click on that arrow and then scroll up to open when done and click on that. This will help this box to appear, and then you will just click on the button Run. Okay. Now, this may take a little bit of time, depending on your internet and computer speeds. So just be patient here. Okay, now you're going to get the window. Welcome to iTunes window, and all you need to do here is to click on Next. Again, two pre selected checkboxes. You can go ahead and deselect if you wish, and then click on Install. If you get a pop up asking you if you want this program to install, please go ahead and click the affirmative response. Now you will see the progress of the installation. Again, this will depend on the speed of your computer and your internet, so you may need to be patient. And once the installation has completed, you will be taken to the congratulations screen and you just need to click on finish. All right, now the next step in the process, you may get a window like this. I'm getting it because my graphics card isn't that great as of this recording. If you get this, just go ahead and click OK to continue. And then you'll be asked if you would like iTunes as your default player. This is your choice. Click either yes or no. All right, now we're at the Apple iTunes store. We want to scroll down, pay attention to the right hand side, and we are looking for this orange icon with the graduation cap. This is going to get us a free iTunes account. All right, and hover over that. When you see the word get, go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to be brought to another screen where this icon will be much larger on the left hand side. Again, you want to click on get. Now we are prepared to create our Apple ID, so go ahead and click that button. Just go ahead and click Continue.
and the next step is for you to read the terms and conditions in the Apple privacy policy. Once you've read through this and you're comfortable, then you can go ahead and click the checkbox and the button that says agree. Now we are going to provide our Apple ID details. The email address you provide here will be your Apple ID. So you want to write that down if you think you're going to forget it. And then you're going to type in a password and you can follow the instructions that they provide on how it should be formatted. After you've typed in your password, go to the next box and retype it to verify. Once you've completely verified your password, you will then fill in three separate security questions and answers. So go to each box, select the question of your choice, and provide the answer. You're going to need this if at some time down the road you forget what your ID is or you forget what your password is. You're going to have to answer these questions in order to get that information sent to you. There is an optional area below these questions. That's up to you if you want to go through with that. If not, uh, once you have gone through to pick out your questions and supply the answers, the next step required would be that you supply your date of birth. So after you fill in your date of birth, notice that you have two more checkboxes that are pre-selected. You can go ahead, if you don't want those notifications, uncheck the boxes or leave them checked if you want them, and then come down to the right-hand side and click on Continue. All right, now this part is important. You want to be sure that none is selected because we want the free ID right now. We don't want to supply any credit or debit card information. So click on none. However, you still need to give them your billing information. So go ahead in there and fill in these required fields with your name and address. And then we'll be able to proceed once you have completed that information. And once you're done, just come down to the bottom right and click on Create Apple ID. All right, now you're going to have to verify your Apple ID by going to your email. So you can click OK here, but go over to your email and open up the email that was sent to you to verify. And this is what it's going to look like. In the email, you want to click on this link to verify now. And once you've clicked that link, it will take you to a browser window where you're going to have to fill in that email address, which is your Apple ID and your password. And once you've done that, you can click Verify Address. Now you will receive it. an indication that your email address has been verified. Now you'll just click on Return to the Store. And that is basically it. Congratulations, you now have an Apple ID. I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful, and thank you for watching. Hey, Winnie Anderson. So now that Judy set you up with an iTunes account, an Apple ID, now you are ready to start enjoying podcasts. So I'm just going to show you how to access the iTunes store and how to start in finding and rating and reviewing and enjoying podcasts. So this is my desktop. I have a PC and I always go to iTunes through my start menu. So I just click on that. Now you might have have it set up with an icon here on your desktop. And if so, then just you know double click on the icon. But I go through the start menu and I just select iTunes. And
and it might take a little while depends on your internet connection you know how robust it is and what else your machine is doing so if you have a lot of windows and tabs open then that could slow down your machine and that could take a little while then so you are going to get this window that's going to pop up and it's going to tell you that the iTunes has detected that it's not the default player for audio files and it asks if you want to make it so you can say never message me again with this or you can just check yes I even though I use iTunes a lot I still say no so then it accesses the iTunes store and it may or may not open up directly to podcasts if it does not you want to come up to the top of, of the screen here and you want to click on these little dots or hover on it and your options will drop down and you'll see this little icon I have I'm already on the podcast page but that's what you're looking for to show up so you're just going to choose you know hover this over and then choose podcast out of there so for some reason the slider here is not appearing this is normally a slider and when you click on it it will slide through images of the most popular podcasts, the hot podcasts that they're trying to you know entice you with so my internet connection looks like it's pretty slow right now so that's why I'm having some problems accessing these images but what you're looking at here is underneath the slider oh there it is underneath the slider there will be what is deemed new and noteworthy podcasts and these are podcasts that are have have gotten popular and that the folks at iTunes think hey these are so popular we want to draw attention to them so you'll see these are all of iTunes new and noteworthy and it's a very big list and iTunes uses this gray scroll bar to scroll through this you know this way and then you can also click on see all and everything that is in the total new and noteworthy is going to show up on your screen so I'm just going to scroll down here gently and and show you what you're looking at there are also uh, editors choice these are podcasts that the editors have said hey these are fairly interesting and you should check them out so there's usually a good sized list of things that are editors choice and they're usually in different types of uh, of categories you'll see everything from you know the foodies to travel and entertainment and comedy politics that kind of stuff then you have things that have been accumulated into featured collections and again you can scroll this way and what would happen is if you clicked on one of these buttons then you would find maybe podcasts that are are under this particular category like how to podcast that that sort of thing so then you have you know fam kids that's a new one I, I've never noticed that one before so then you can also browse by category okay and these are broken down into several different categories and again Apple does the, the slidey thing this way and then you can also you know just keep going and you'll find all different types of categories but we're going to scroll back up to the top here and over here in the right hand column you can see all of the categories for podcasts and then there are some hot links here so if you have an iTunes gift card that you want to redeem or you want to buy one for someone etc and then if you're setting up a podcast there are some very complex information that is right here so when usually what what people do is they either know about a podcast that they want to check out or they want to come and investigate and they want to find podcasts around a specific type of information so maybe it's financial management you know you want to learn more about financial management so you would come up here and you would put some search terms in here maybe you'd add financial management so that's one reason why podcasts, you know, we have to really think about what we're titling them and how we describe them so we can manage to rank well in the search engine that is iTunes because iTunes really is a search engine. So to find 
a podcast, you can either go into the category or you can click the drop down menu. And let's let's go with, you know, maybe you know a specific podcast that you want to check out, like the Let's Talk Tech Show. And in this case, you know, I think whenever you know the host, you want to just put it the host name in there that way in case there's any duplication or similarity of titles which certainly happens you're going to be able to get the one that is you know just the one that you wanted so you hit enter and here come all of my podcasts and including the one I uploaded today yay so <laughs> which I need to promote so here are all my shows and you can if you wanted to listen to, to them right from here absolutely you can go ahead and do that you can also though subscribe subscribing is great for a couple of reasons one it it kind of just puts aside these shows because it knows you want them, right? So you're going to then accumulate these shows. It's going to automatically download them for a certain period of time and save them to your iTunes account. That way you can access it, uh, access whatever shows you're subscribed to through any device that has the App Store you know, on it, which is really awesome. You can also click on this. This is called Album Art. You can click on my Album Art. And you can go to, you know, this brings you to the, the show's regular page on iTunes. So when you come here, you can, you're going to see uh, this button. And these are actually two different buttons. So you can, you know, if you want to subscribe, which I certainly hope you do, you can click on the subscribe button. And if you would like to share this show, you can share right from here. And you can, you know, share it on these social sites or you can click this and you can copy the direct link to this show page and you can paste that, you know, wherever you want to. So when you come to a show's page, you see a description of what the show is about, any, all the shows that have been released so far. And you can click on to see ratings and reviews. And you see I have a couple here and I have a few ratings. So uh, I certainly hope that you will stop by and review and rate the show. Creating podcasts is very time consuming. So any anytime you find a show you like, it really does benefit the host when you take the time to click to leave a rating and leave a review. You know, certainly you want to leave a review if you really like the show and, and don't leave one if it's if it's not a genuine review. But it, it does help the show get found because it helps the show rise in the rankings and in the search engines. So enjoy that you can then have you know any number of podcasts I find them to be just really great way to get educated and entertained at the same time and I download them and, and binge listen when I'm on my long drives but that's the beauty of podcasts is that you can really maximize the efficiency of your time and listen or watch while you're doing other things so that has given you information on how you can start an iTunes account, get an Apple ID, and then how you can find shows, subscribe, rate, and review. So I hope you enjoy podcasts, come to love them as much as I have, and thanks for stopping by, and I certainly hope that you enjoy my show, and you want to be sure to subscribe and, and subscribe at the Let's Talk Tech Show .com because when you become a fan of the show, you'll get access to the great downloads that I'm creating for as many episodes as possible. And one free giveaway right now is the, the questionnaire that I've put together that will help you step through your thinking whenever you're evaluating a particular software system service or app to make sure you're making the best choice for you. So thanks for stopping by. This has been Winnie Anderson for the Let's Talk Tech Show, and I look forward to seeing you in another episode soon. Bye for now.